Hey guys, welcome to our first Photoshop tutorial. We're going to start off just by looking at a few tools in Photoshop. But before we begin to look at those tools, there's a few things that I want to just kind of point out just so that you are aware. And as we begin to look at tools, I probably will reference these a uh, few different things and then that way you'll have a little bit of an idea of what I'm talking about. The first thing is layers. You're going to hear the term layers quite a bit. And you'll see over here there's this layers tab. As we begin to do a number of different things you'll see that layers are going to show up in this panel down here. It's going to be very important to make sure you know what layer you have selected as that's going to be what uh, you're going to actually be able to make changes to. So look over here in this layer section often to know if something's not working quite right it might be because you don't have the right layer selected. So that's going to be a good thing to make sure that we're uh, paying attention to. The other thing that you'll want to take a look at is you'll have this button over here that's called history. And as you can see right now I don't have anything in my history but the one thing that you'll notice in Photoshop is that if you do command Z or if you go up to edit and hit undo it only undoes the last um, operation that you did and then it reverts back to redo. So if you need to get back and uh, undo multiple things, you'll go to your history and you can go through and delete through the different um, operations that you did until you get it back to the level that you wanted to, to go to. So those are two things that are going to be important to know before we even start. Okay? As we begin, obviously we don't have any pictures in here and we need to we want to be able to work on a picture so if you go back to our page you'll see that we've got a few pictures already kind of set aside for you to choose from five pretty basic ones um, so you can choose whichever one you want to use once you choose your picture that you want to use go ahead and do a two finger click on it and hit save image as <clears throat> now don't worry we've already gone through and chosen pictures that are uh, not copyrighted, that are free to use, that uh, have a Creative Commons license, so we're not going to be breaking any copyright rules uh, by using these pictures. So I have already gone through and have added uh, or have downloaded that picture. To open your picture, you need to go up to File, Open, navigate to the folder where you saved your picture, select it and then hit open and it'll open up. Okay, I've opened up my picture and I've got it here in place. We want to just take a look at just three tools today. The first one is the one that's the default tool actually that comes up whenever you start in Photoshop which is the move tool. You also notice if I hover over top of the tool it'll tell you what it is so if I'm not quite sure I can't remember what the tool is if I kinda just come and leave my mouse there for a second it will tell me what the tool is you also notice that it says in parentheses there it says V if on your keyboard if you just push the letter V it will select that move tool and that sometimes is really beneficial as well the move tool it's pretty basic it does exactly what it sounds like it should do it moves the picture and the image around now you'll notice when I tried to do it that first time it said it was locked so if I come down and I look at my layers, I can see that I have my background layer now, and it's locked. So if I want to be able to edit any of these things, I'm going to have to just click on that lock button, and it's going to now allow me to begin to edit my picture. You'll notice another thing over here in my layer panel is that it has this little eyeball. I can click on it, and if I click on it, it hides that layer so that if I'm trying to maybe combine different pictures I can uh, take away one layer so I can see what actually is happening with that. If I click on it it shows back up again. Okay so now I can take my picture I can move it around and I can put it wh wherever I want it to go. All right. So that's the first tool that we want to look at is just the move so just kinda getting used to moving things around we also want to just look at the zoom tool. The zoom tool is all the way down here. You'll see we could also push the letter Z to zoom in on it. This is going to be a really beneficial tool as well because we can come up, if you notice at the top, we have some different options now. We have zoom in, we have zoom out, 
Um, we can resize one of the fit. We can zoom all. So we can click once and it will zoom in. I can then do a two finger kind of scroll around and look at that picture a little bit closer. So I can continue to zoom in. I can actually get to the point where I, it gives me, I zoom in so much that it starts to give me this pixelated look, which means that I'm going to start editing individual pixels as I get close enough to it. If, the other nice thing with working on your Mac is if you click and just kind of slide your finger uh, to the right to zoom in, to the left to zoom out, you can just kind of click and zoom in really easily that way as well. You also notice when I do that, it zooms in exactly to wherever my uh, the picture of my magnifying glass is. So if I really want to zoom in on a certain section, I can click on that and then just slide my finger to the right or left while I have my mouse clicked down. Zooming in and out is going to allow you to really get in and uh, make those fine edits that uh, it's going to require. And the final tool that we want to look at is called the free transform tool. Now I can get to it a couple ways. I can go up to edit and I can go to tr uh, free transform. Or you'll notice that I also have this command T. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit that and hit command T. That's a keyboard shortcut. And from here now what I can do is I have uh, the ability to really edit and make some changes to my picture. So I can grab a corner of it. I can scale my picture uh, by grabbing a corner. I can grab a top and flatten it or grab the side and squish it in. I can also go up to the top of it, kind of above it, and I can rotate it. So I can rotate my picture and kind of get it set however I want. So that tool is going to be a really uh, important tool to know how to use you're going to use the free transform tool quite a bit as you work on uh, making your pictures fit together and making it uh, kind of fit exactly how you want it to. Once you've made your changes that you want, you'll see there's this check uh, mark up here. Go ahead and click on it or you can hit enter and it will go ahead and put those changes in place. That way it knows to keep those changes that you have applied using the free transform tool. Okay, that concludes our first look at Photoshop and just a few basic tools.